Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, if you guys watched my previous video, it was my SNES Classic uh, preview. This is going to show you how to install it and get it all rocking and rolling. So let's get started. So it's a SNES Classic zip file. And what we're going to do is cut, paste it into the root of our C drive, and go ahead and right click and extract here. If you're using 7-zip, you can click extract here. Um, once that's extracted, you're going to have a folder called SNES Classic. We're going to go in here. So basically, all we're going to do first is you're going to want to add some ROMs. And where you do that is inside SNES Classic, SNES, and ROMs. Uh, the box art's already included for you. So I would recommend going to Arcade Punks and getting the uh, HyperPie Super Nintendo ROM pack. So I'm going to add my ROMs. So... There we go. Next thing we're going to want to do is make sure your ROM names match the artwork. So make sure like 2020 Super Baseball USA. So if you have any missing artwork, just come on in here and make sure that your ROM matches your artwork. So we have 2020 Super Baseball USA. So that's good to go there. Now you're going to want to open SNES 9X. Press escape if it opens full screen on you. Go ahead and click input, input configuration. And go ahead and set your buttons. Um, so just click there left, down, right. Uh, for 360, this is actually your A button. And this will be your B button, X button, Y button. And then start, back button. This is your uh, left bumper and your right bumper. And that's all you got to do. Make sure this is Joypad 1 enabled. OK. Now that we've done that, go ahead and file, exit. And now we are going to configure our controller in a track mode. So let's open up a track mode. Here's what it looks like. So go ahead and press tab on your keyboard. And we're going to go up to controls. Press enter. So for the back button, uh, for Xbox 360 controller, I use the Y button. So go ahead and press add input. Press Y. Now for up, down, left, right, that's just your D-pad, so go ahead and do those ones. For select, press enter, uh, press enter, and this will be your start button. So add input, press start, and go back, and we're going to come down until we get to custom one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is going to be your A button on Xbox 360. Custom 2 is going to be your B button on 360. And Custom 3 is going to be your back button on 360. So we'll go ahead and back out. Okay. So, now that we have our controller set, you can see you're moving freely. Now let's go back into options one more time. And we're going to go to emulators, Super Nintendo. And we're going to come down to exit hotkey, 
Press enter. Now I press down and select at the same time. So there's my select button and down. Now that that's done, go down to generate collection ROM list. Press start. I already have one. Um, now yours will ask if you want to overwrite. Go ahead and click yes. I'm not going to do it, but go ahead and click yes and it'll create, you know, I'll just do it. It may take some time, but I want to make sure that if I'm doing it and you're doing it, we're all good to go. So it takes, it takes a little bit of time. This has probably taken roughly a minute or so. Um, but it's, there we go. So let's go back to the main menu. And so to launch games, you would press the start button. Um, if you press up on your D-pad and you go to filters, you can press B or A, doesn't matter. So here is the, this is my all list. And these, and if you press it again, that's the favorites list. So these are just the 21 games included with the uh, official SNES Classic Edition. So the way that you add favorites, very easy. Go to your main menu, and let's say I wanted Street Fighter Alpha 2, just press select button, well, back button on your Xbox 360. And it'll give you the prompt, added favorites, and then we'll go to filters. And there it is. And if you want to remove it from your favorites, just click while you're in favorites, go ahead and press your back button or your select button. And there you go, it's gone. So I'll show you, um, oops. Let's launch a game. Press start. And there's Star Fox 2. Uh, this is obviously the prototype until someone dumps the ROM from the SNES Classic, which uh, I'm pretty certain will happen. So to exit back to the menu when you're done your game, hold select, press down, just like the SNES or just like the original NES Classic. So again, guys, I really hope you appreciate this. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want the download link to get this, it is on my Patreon page. Um, my releases are for my Patreons, so if you want to support me if you and, and enjoy this build as well as others, um, go ahead and do so. Um, but thanks for checking out this video, and anyone who's already a Patreon, um, thank you very much for the support. Uh, I'll continue to do as much work as I can and, uh, and make as many builds as I can. Also, how-to videos and stuff like that. So, again guys, I uh, really appreciate you watching. Have a good day.